Hey there, Stephen Fox Can Farms. Just thought I'd share with you a little bit about uh, how we go about harvesting our sorghum grain. Go. Cool. Okay, so what we do is we cut the uh, tops of the grain, the sorghum grain, off. And you can see right here. And then what we'll do is we'll just hang these up to dry. You can put these on like a rack, laying them flat. Uh, you can tie, take some twine, tie a knot around there, and just hang a whole st string of them all tied together. And then once they've dried it long enough, what we do is we just take them in a bucket like this here. Hopefully you can see that. And just hang it around. Now I'm not going to get all the seed off of here, but that basically gets the seed to pop out of the holes. Now sometimes some of the grain still has the hull on it. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Is that showing up there? So, see the grain there. And then what we'll do, the next thing that we'll do is we'll, we'll run it through our homemade uh, winnow machine that we made. We kind of winnow the, the seed here. Okay, get the chaff off. So let's go show you how that works. Okay, <laughs> don't laugh too hard. This is what we use to get rid of all the chaff and the hulls and hopefully we're left with the seed. And it seems to be working out. So down here, we have a fan. So, you know, if you look at like a winnowing machine, um, you know, the, the air is coming up and the seed and the hulls are coming down and then the seed goes out uh, and the hulls go out, you know, seed goes down and the hulls go out. Um, the one thing about sorghum grain is it's so light, right, that there's this balance between uh, the this wind speed and everything. Right down here we have this fan. You can see the angle. I'm not sure if it shows up very well in the video, but the angle is such that it's not directly pointing up. It's kind of coming like this here, and then it catches on the bottom and goes up. This is just to catch the seed. Nothing fancy here. This is pretty... It's almost like Rube Goldberg, although it's not quite that good, but right? And then the air comes up here, and the chaff is kind of coming out the back. In this bowl right here, sometimes some seed comes out, but we've got it adjusted at this point where that really doesn't happen. I'm not sure if it's going to show up. You can see how slow the fan is going right now, I, I hope. I'm hoping that shows up in the video. It's getting dark on us here, so it may not even show. Um, but at any rate, I just have a little bit of the sampling here that it, where I was showing you how we, we got the grain off the stalks. I'm just going to pour this in here. going to run it through one more time but it's looking pretty good to be honest with you there we go okay come on over here take a look at this don't be shy come on over Let's take a look at this grain here that we've got going on. Get the light, right? So we've just got a few hulls here. Some of these could have been harvested a little bit too early. Um, but we've got something that we're going to take a look at to try to resolve that. But if you look inside of here, come over here and look in this where we're catching the hulls here. And, and again, the goal here was to catch seed. But in the end, we're really not there. You can see the, how slow that fan is blowing. There's some seed in there, but there isn't much. And all we have to do, is, if we really want to rescue that, you know, reclaim that, we can just go like this, and we'll get it all out, or we could run it through again and try that. But let me show you something that we're doing for these hulls that are still stuck on the grain here. All right, so now with regards to those, uh, uh, the grain where the hulls are still left on there, <clears throat> My, one way that we, we were trying to get those off is we'd take a, uh, like a rubber mat and then a rubber float and just kind of scrub across it to see if we get that off and then run it through our, our winnowing machine there. Um, then my son came up with this idea that he, something he made with his 3D printer. 
and this is an old drill that we had got at an estate sale. It's not variable speed, however, when you hook it up to a dimmer switch, it's variable speed. And so what he has set up here, there's a hopper, there's some gears in the back here, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's hooked in here to the drill. The gears that he 3D printed, you can see this little gadget right here. Can you zoom in on that? Enough seat enough there? And you can see this here, shape here. Okay, here's the mechanism. Again, I just, the drill fastens onto here. And you can see a little bit better what he has going on here. The, uh, the end piece here, he made that. He used his, his, scroll saw, his scroll saw to cut out this little piece uh, with a piece of uh, small uh, plywood here. And that was just kind of a prototype. I think eventually he thought he would 3D print it, but he hasn't, and it seems to be working, so he just keeps using it for now. So that goes on there. There's three screws that hold that there. I'll take that off. Now I'm going to totally take it apart because we'll take the nuts off, and we're just not ready for that at, this, at the moment. But hopefully you can see a little bit what's going on here. I'll show you that old one. Again, this is the old one, okay? This design would have come in like this here, all right, and spun. And what he did is he wraps he wraps rubber bands around here, okay? This is the old design. As you can see on the new design, he made these little fins right here. And these fins help move the seed and the hulls out, okay? Imagine that this is on here. Go back to this and see how it's moving them around. And it's kind of getting them to come out of the mechanism, all right? Now... Inside here again the drums are they're just wrapped with rubber bands. That's what he has now. He's thinking about doing this with TPU. It's still in the prototype stages, but he might use TPU filament. Um, and then what happens is the seed goes into here, comes out here, and it rubs inside of there, and it's basically those rubber bands, that rubber in there scrubs off the holes that are remaining on the, the seeds. Now it's not a hundred percent, doesn't work totally perfect but it is making a substantial difference in the way things work so that's about it we take that sorghum grain and uh, we're able to use that and we can eat it we can give it to our chickens in the winter time a lot of times we give them these special things like this in the winter time keeps them from beating up on each other uh, but on the other hand we'll cook it up and eat it ourselves too so i just thought i'd share that with you little something that we're doing here at Fox Can Farms and uh, just remember one thing, make it happen.